Welcome to part 4 of jQuery is God. In this uh, session, we are going to look at the paging functionality and this is what it's going to look when it's going to end. You'll be having a previous, you'll be having a next and you're going to have a reset, right? And as per the plan, we are not directly going to call a DB directly, right? What we are going to do is, we are going to call, uh, make a call first to a temporary collection, a dummy collection. If that succeeds, then we move on to the DB, right? And as per the plan, if you're following along, then you know how we build this whole thing and how it works, right? So now I think it should take less time and we should move quickly as soon as possible, right? So <coughs> in order to build this structure, you might have seen earlier, uh, if you look at it, this is the outer div, this is the inner div where we populate all the data and this is the external div where we have previous, next and reset function. All are normal HTML input buttons. I'm not making any pushback or any kind of calls. I'm just making a pure jQuery call. That's all. Alright. <coughs> so this is my UI, this is my look and feel. So now you have one thing in your mind that as uh, we did initial in initial series we did is like making a jQuery call and populating the whole table. But now let's think in terms of paging, right? So when you think in terms of paging, situation changes drastically. Your uh, plan kind of changes because initially you used to populate the whole bunch of records. Now you have to populate the limited records plus you have to maintain a lot of things, right? So like uh, uh, as you, if you guys are any of like SQL experts, then you might be knowing like uh, there are functions like you know uh, row number in SQL. Then in MySQL, you specify start index, end index, and based on that, the records get fetched, right? And in our lean queue, we have skip and take function. Skip is like skip these many records from the collection and take rest of them, right? So over here that is kind of a concept so what we're going to do is first we'll be looking at the service right so in this service what I'm gonna do is initially uh, we were using this guy right this was our guy but now we have change in plan we are using the same function with one argument in it which is called as a current index and the name of the method is get dummy employee with paging and it does exactly same what initially it used to do but I have one line of single change of code this is a dummy collection so it, it does uh, change in one line but when you move down to SQL there will be a change in a query we'll, we'll discuss that in the next video but for this video what I'm doing is this function what it does is it gets a current index right now you have 13 records right so imagine what if uh, I pass 0 over here so I want five records, right? So I use link queues, skip and take function. Imagine if you're passing zero over here, so I'm gonna skip zero to record, I'm gonna take the next five records. So I'm gonna take these five guys, right? Till here. So these are my records. Then imagine when I hit next, I'll be sending over here five. Five, right? So it will skip the five records initially. One, two, three, four, five are gone and get next five records right and in order to take I'm using the take function in which I'm passing a take as an argument in which you are supposed to pass an integer so which is 5 because at a time I just want 5 records because uh, I mean you can have 10 it depends we're gonna do the modification later on but this is a kind of a concept you have a whole collection you got two functions skip and take whatever the index you're passing like 5 or 10 based on that based on that this guy executes and it returns a number of records right so <coughs> I'm sorry so let's have a look uh, at this page right uh, what I'm gonna do uh, show you uh, f5 and I'm gonna take you in action I'm hitting next I'm getting five records again I'm hitting next I'm getting I'm trying to get a five records but they are not available all right so link you takes care of that and when I hit next it says I cannot go beyond 13 because you got only 13 records then I start with previous when I start with previous it's going back it's going back again so every time you see initially when I'm saying I'm at reset basically I'm passing a zero over here as a current index to this guy right and based on that it gives me a five records back 
when I hit next actually I'm sending this phi over here to this method so it gives me the next phi records right and uh, let's see how we did that using a jQuery in order to do that we require one variable right so I have taken a hidden variable which is called as HDN current index this guy holds at which location at which what is the current index you're looking at when the page loads I want this guy to be a zero right so be, uh, when this guy is zero what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna access this variable I'm gonna take its value and I'm gonna pass here so when I pass here it will return the file records to me right and the next time when I hit next I'm gonna modify this guy and again I'm gonna take this variables value and I'm pass it on and so on right so now let's look into the jQuery what are we doing so <coughs> basically what we are doing is one second this code is a bit different than the previous co code we saw in the uh, past sessions nothing spectacular nothing like you know but as we said okay, like when my page loads for the first time I like my grid to be resetted I'm like I'm uh, reset in the sense this guy this hidden variable value should be zero right so I'm gonna do that within this reset alright so every time I need to maintain the index right in the jQuery so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this variables value over here from to here so when I do that when my page load for the first time this guy is going to be a zero so I don't need to worry about that alright next I'll go to the reset function alright in reset function I'll assign the current index is equal to zero and the hidden value should be of the current index and then I call a function called as load employees this load employees as usual very same function what we had nothing uh, a lot of difference it is same as that the only thing changes the change in the URL and we are passing the additional parameter right so let's have a look into that so uh, we are making an Ajax call we are saying we are going to post and we are going to post at this method get dummy employee with paging and if you look in here this is a method where we are passing an index right and what are we doing is we are passing a parameter as current index so over here my variable name is current index so I'm taking that variable right here and whatever index throughout when you do reset when you do previous you next you manipulate the current index value that values I mean that value goes along with that right so 0 and 5 and everything goes down the line so I hope you got the idea and the next thing is pretty same I'm making a creating a table I'm creating the headers once the headers are ready my response is back what I do is I iterate through them and simply render the table using the ID name expert and level properties in the end I do my basic fancy work and that's it so the important thing if you look into this is very simple you're calling this method and the data the the way you're supposed to pass is this way right current index and this so next function you can imagine it is when I click on next when I click on previous you can imagine it's very easy functionality what I'm gonna do is whatever my current index is I'm gonna increment that index by 5 right so let's have a look into that so as you can see this is my next function in the next function what I'm doing is I'm saying current index is equal to get the value of the hidden variable I don't know what is the value of that hidden variable right now but whatever value you have sum it as 5 and give it to me now let's get started by like imagining you load the page for the first time so this guy is gonna give me the value of 0 correct and 0 and this is going to be a 5 so this is the value of this guy becomes a 5 and then you enter into the else part because the value is 5 not 13 right now into which you call the load employee function alright and you make a post you pass the current index as 5 so the next time you get 5 to 10 records right so in order to show you in action how can I show you uh, maybe I can do the alert alert will help you out alright so I'm gonna do as alert index so that way the the concept will become clear right my current index 
whenever I make a, a Ajax call, you'll come to know what is the current in the current index right now, right? So let's refresh. So as you can see right now, my current index is as soon as my page loads for the first time, I'm making a Ajax call to load my zero to five employees. So this is zero. When I'm gonna do next, and next my current index will be five. So I'm fetching now five to ten records, right? And again I do next. 10 to 13 if I do next again then I cannot go beyond 13 right so this alert may give you an idea if you copy the same thing and try the same thing uh, hopefully it should work for you right so let me do the recap again this is for the next function next function what I do is like I sum up the value and I check if the value is beyond 13 then don't allow it if yes then simply go and call the load employee function and simply pass the index and based on that you populate the records right how about previous function in the previous function you check if your value goes beyond 0 then you don't allow it and I, uh, yes and one more thing every time uh, when you make a Ajax call you are setting the hidden value because when you come back for the next time you picking up the value from this hidden vari uh, variable itself right so this is really important this hidden variable is very important right and when you do talk in terms of previous like the condition I showed you like if you're, you are zero you cannot do anything if, uh, at, uh, I mean like suppose you are at 15 or 10 or something whatever place you have again you gotta take the value from this guy and subtract it by 5 uh, right now I'm doing is like um, 5 is my fixed paging uh, but still you can if you want you can improve it you can have your customization as per your need but you can do it right so this is a uh, previous this is next and this is where is reset reset is pretty simple and this is reset so I'm using only four function and rest of the my functionality is same as it is if you think logically this thing is very easily can be done or maybe you have better ideas you can do it in your way and I forgot to mention on the page load I'm simply binding all this function these are my buttons right these are buttons and they are supposed to do some job so I'm just assigning them okay when the next gets call and when you click a next button you're supposed to call a next function for previous you call supposed to call a previous function and for reset again you are called supposed to call a reset function and let's uh, have a look control f5 um, I think I'm gonna remove the alert part uh, where is that alright let's hit refresh again and now hit f12 like we do always we do the data analysis all the times as you can see 491 bytes is a records right if I increase the paging to let's say uh, 10 then it will there will be a little bit rise in the data in the data itself next 478 and 294 because only three records I'm fetching right so like it depends like what are you doing and apart from that the firebug will show you alright the purple one, uh, purple one is kind of a waiting and the green one is kind of a connecting so like you can look into the firebug and you can manipulate the things accordingly alright so I hope this, vid this video give you an idea how do you work with paging in the next video we'll be connecting the same thing with one line of code and we'll be changing uh, uh, the query we'll, we'll be changing the query because next time we're gonna work with DB right so we'll be changing a query and the whole functionality this reset function functionality will remain the same right so if you like the video please subscribe and please stay tuned for more alright thank you